Hey kids, we're going to go ahead and do a little practice with addition using touch points and touch math, okay? So um, first off, to review what touch math is, touch math is when you use um, touch points on numbers to help you solve the problems. And the touch points match with the numeral. So one has one touch point, two has two touch points three has three touch points, and so on and so forth. Now, when you get to number six, that's when the double touch points start. So the double touch points mean they count for two, double. So you have the ring around, so that's one touch point, and then you have the dot in the middle, like, like all the single ones, and that's a touch point too. So you would count one, two, three, four, five, six. And then you have some numbers that have doubles and then one single touch point as well. For example, we have seven here. So you have your three doubles. So again, you would count it one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the single is just one, so seven. So it's important when you're making your um, touch points on your numbers to make sure that they match. You don't want to, for example, forget the single one on seven and only have six on seven. Um, you're not going to get the right answer. So you want to um, practice making sure that each number has the correct amount of touch points on it. All right, so anyway, so we're gonna use touch math to do some addition, okay? So let's say that I was given this problem. I was given 34 plus 52, and I had to solve it. And um, I can very easily use touch math to make this a lot easier, okay? So first off, when you're doing touch math, you don't want it being long across. You might be given the problem like that, and that's totally fine. But to do the touch math easily, you're going to um, put them on top of each other. So you're going to stack it. So you're going to have your first number, and then you're going to have your second number underneath. So for example, I would do, I put 34 on top, because that's my first number. And then the 52 underneath, and make sure the numbers match up. OK, so make sure that you have your, your four and your two matched up because those are one, so I have an O there for ones. And then you have your tens matched up. Your three and your five are in the tens place, so we have T for tens. So if your ones matched up and your tens matched up, okay? And then you would go ahead and um, there's different ways to do the touch point. Some people put them on all of the numbers and that's fine. Some people um, always just put the touch points only on the bottom ones and they, you know, they start with the first one, the top number, and then they count on the second number. And then sometimes for addition, people will um, start with the biggest number, whichever it is, top or bottom, and then count on and put the touch points on the smaller number. Um, today, I'm going to keep it simple. We're gonna just, um, we're just gonna put the touch points on the bottom number, okay? So, um, so I would put them right here. Ooh. So there's my two for two. And then for five, one, two, three, one here at the belly, four, five. All right, and then I would go down and solve it. So I would go four, so start with four, and you can think four in your head, so four, and then keep counting, five, six. So six in the ones place. And then here I start with three, and keep counting, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight. So the answer, sorry, it's kind of messy, but is 86. All right, now um, I wanna show you also how you can use touch math very easily to help you with um, numbers that go up to the hundreds place and also for regrouping as well. So let's say I have that same problem, okay? And here I have it in a um, place value chart. So I have my hundreds, tens and ones and um, the shorter way to show it is h for hundreds t for tens o for ones and i have an arrow here in the ones place because you always want to start in the ones place all right that's important um, so but let's say i want to make this a little bigger instead of just 34 plus 52 let's add um, digits in the hundreds place okay so what if i wanted to do
if I wanted to make it pretty big now. So now it's 234 plus 452, a lot bigger, right? But not a lot harder. Um, you're gonna do the same thing. All you're gonna do is here at your hundreds place, we're going to add our touch points to the bottom number. All right, and now we do the same thing. So we, so we go back to our ones place and start there. So four, and then keep counting, five, six, so six ones, all right? And then three, four, five, six, seven, eight, so eight tens, and then our hundreds, two, three, four, five, six. So the answer is 686. So big numbers, but again, with the touch math, it makes it really fast and easy. All right, so um, now when it comes to regrouping, it is a little trickier, but again, the touch math can make it easier for you. So let's practice a couple with regrouping as well, okay? So let's say, Let's say I wanted to do, we'll start with a two digit number. Let's say I wanted to do 38 plus 34. So I already put them um, in order. So I have my ones, my eight and my four, and they're in the ones place. And then my three, my three. So 38 plus 34. So again, the next step would be after stacking them and putting them in the right place would be putting on the touch points on the bottom numbers, okay? And I would recommend counting as you do that, especially when you're new at touch math, to make sure that you didn't forget any because if, if you forget a touch point, then you're not gonna get the right answer when you touch them and count. <laughs> So one, two, three, one, two, three, four for four. Okay, so now, um, so now let's go ahead and solve it. So we have eight, so we're gonna start with eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Now, I can't put 12 here. It's, it only has room for one digit, the one or the two. You can't put the one and the two in 12. So you have to regroup. So what you do um, is you're gonna put the two here, right? And then the one in 12, you're going to carry over to the tens place. So I'm going to put it up here. All right. So that one and two, if you put them together is 12, right? So we had to carry that one over though. Um, we had to carry it over into the tens place. So now, and I can add my touch point to my one here if I like. Now it looks like an I, but that's fine. Um, so I'm going to start with three and keep counting. Four, five, six, seven. So the answer would be 72. All right, now let's say we want to make this one bigger as well. Again, bigger doesn't mean harder necessarily. Let's say I had, so I'm just going to add a couple numbers here. I'll add a four and a two. So now it's 438 plus 234. All right, so I'm gonna add my touch points to the two here because it's on the bottom and I'm gonna count on. So I'm gonna start with four and then keep counting, five, six. So the answer is 672. All right, so now I wanna do one more with you where um, there is something called double regrouping where you have to do it two times, all right? And it just takes practice. Once you um, just keep practicing and soon you'll get it. Um, so, but it's the same idea of that. If you have um, a two digit number for your answer, you have to carry over the one to the next place value, all right? So let's say I have, let's see, what about 200? And 57, so 257 plus 
300, oh my, 365. All right. So pretty big numbers here. All right, so 257 plus 365. So it looks scary, but again, um, just keep practicing these and soon you'll be like, oh, they're easy. <laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our touch points on the bottom digits. So on my five, one, two, three, four, five. And then for six, I have three doubles. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then for three, I have one, two, three, nice and easy. Okay, so now I always wanna start in the ones place, okay? So I'm gonna start with seven and count on. So seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Oh, 12 again. So we're gonna put the two, Put the ones place digit there, and then you carry the tens place over. So we're going to carry that one over here. All right. And then I can go ahead and put the dot on there. And now I'm going to do the same thing in this, in this, um, in the tens place. I'm going to start with five and then keep counting six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Apparently, I like the number 12. <laughs> All right, so again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm going to put the two here, and then I'm gonna carry the one again, but this time it always goes to the next place value over, the next one bigger. So the 12 here is gonna go, the one is gonna to go to the hundreds place now, okay? And now I'm gonna do the same thing for my hundreds place. I'm gonna start with two, three, four, five, six, all right. So my answer is 622. All right, and let's see, let's go ahead and do one more really fast, okay? All right, let's do, So we're going to do 792 plus 100 and 100. There we go. Sorry. Okay. So huge number up here. 792 plus 119, so big numbers here, but we can do it. All right, so we're gonna first put our um, touch points on. So nine, we have um, four doubles and then a little nose at the end. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then nine, little nose at the end, right? And then for one, that's easy, just a little dot, a little dot here. All right, so now let's go ahead and add. So here we start with two and then keep counting. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. All right, so I'm gonna put the one down here, the one from the ones place. Sorry, my marker's running out. Let me grab a new one. There we go. And then I'm going to carry the other one in the tens place over to the tens place because that's where it belongs, right? We can't have two digits in the ones place. All right. And then I can put my touch point on and I'm going to do the same thing here. So I'm going to go 9, 10, 11. And I'm going to write my, my one and then the other one in the tens place, I'm going to carry over here. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm going to start with seven, eight, nine. So my answer is, I'm sorry, that's totally crooked. <laughs> All 
but the answer is 911. Um, all right, so I hope this helped you understand um, touch math a little more and how useful it can be in math and adding and really make things go a lot faster and smoother. All right, so I hope you enjoyed it and um, practice your touch math, practice putting those touch points on and using it to add. The more you use it, the better you'll be at it. All right, thank you guys. All right, and have a great day.